welcome to RC Racing. This month we're off to Austria for the 110th electric two-wheel drive off-road European Championships, which are decided over three-legged A finals. So without further ado, let's hit the track with John Hindhoff. Here is the Pro Line rundown for the top 10 of the EFRA electric off-road two-wheel drives. And Lee Martin, the Brit, is on pole position from the Swede. David Ronenfalk in second. Hubert Honigel in third for Germany. His countryman Jorn Neumann in fourth position. Then the Austrian, Peter Pinnish. Now there's five Brits in the top 10. And here are four of them together. Neil Cragg, Tom Cockerell, Paul Bradbury and Darren Blumfield. And the Austrian, Rennie Trauner, makes up the 10. Well, as you can see, it is very dry indeed. There's even some cracks beginning to show. It's going to make it slippery. And being very precise on the throttles in this two-wheel drive run is going to be very important indeed. And the pullman, Lee Martin, gets away and is already beginning to stretch out his lead as he goes under that bridge that has been such a feature. In second place, Coming up through the field, Jon Neumann, the German from fourth on the grid, has made good work, has done some good work in the opening laps there. But at the moment, it is Lee Martin. It's a technical course. The drivers seem to like it. I think there's enough opportunity for them to pass if you do get close racing. But it has favoured the guys who can get away and that is exactly what our leader is doing at the moment over the paved section this is the battle further back down the field and that is I think Neumann in second place isn't it Ronnefeld and Honigel that second third and fourth the international contingent and as I said racing is possible here his little buggy's flying very well the track's held up pretty well, despite the fact it's been very, very dry. Back onto the paved section. This has caused one or two problems, surprisingly. It is a very different uh, surface for the guys. And again, it's all about precision. You can see the cracks there that has begun to open up on this very, very dry weekend. Temptation to water the track, of course. It's mainly clear and it has stood up very well indeed. And the leader, Lee Martin, still well out in front ahead of this battle for second, third, fourth and fifth now. Do like that bridge. Very stylish as well as working well. Oh, and there's the incident we'd been wondering if we were going to see. And that's taken out two of that battling trio. So Lee Martin, there he is, ahead of that battle, and it's a big lead for the Brit. First leg of three, regular viewers will know all about that, but let me just remind perhaps newcomers, it's your best two results that count. If there is a tie, and there could be, then it goes on fastest heat time. Lee Martin has won the last two European Championship and the form that he's showing right now is indicative of why that has been the case. He's not been troubled since the Hooter, has he? Look at this as he goes across that bridge again. And there is the gap and it's a big one. Do feel as though the guys behind have rather held themselves up, but that's not to take anything away from Lee Martin, who has just knuckled down Great control of the buggy in flight there. Just feathering the throttle to get the attitudes of the vehicle through the air correctly. And just look how quick he's covering the ground here. This is impressive for a two-wheel drive machine. And he's not sliding that buggy around. He's keeping it pointing in the right direction. Not taking any chances over the whoops. And really, he's not being challenged, has he? Let's be honest. He qualified on pole position and if he can keep this form going I don't think he's going to need surely the third heat as he comes back onto the infield section again now here is that battle for second place well briefly but it's still a big gap being closed slightly but just very slightly a couple of tenths of a second on the timing monitor there as Lee Martin 
continues what has been a demonstration drive at the moment. And you'd be happy if you got this kind of run in qualifying. And this is the first heat of three in the final. He's not had to deal with any traffic. He's not had to put up with anybody snapping around the rear end of his buggy. And what he has done here is demolished a very, very good field indeed. Just a tad of understeer from the front end of that car. He's just having to work a little bit harder, getting the car turned in. Just wonder if the tyres are beginning to suffer a little bit on this very, very hard surface. He has by eye backed off and I'm just looking at the timing screen and yes he has backed off just a little bit he may just be struggling as I say for front end grip but there's no one in sight behind him he's getting a little bit of a slide through the inside corner he's beginning to enjoy himself here can't show but too much though he's got some traffic ahead of him now he's got uh, lapped cars to deal with and in fact he won't have to do that because the checkered flag is out and that is a very very easy win indeed for the Brits from pole position, Lee Martin. The Proline results tell the tale of a very dominant run by Lee Martin. Five seconds, the margin at the end over his countryman, Neil Cragg, who fought his way through from sixth to second. Good run from Neil Hubert. Honigal started third, finished third. And the top five made up by Peter Pinnish and Jorn Neumann. It's a simple piece of arithmetic. If the pole man Lee Martin could do as he did last time around and drive away from the field, he will once again be European champion. And he's always had a nasty start there as he lost control. And through then has gone David Ronnefalk, the Swedish driver. And that was not in the script as far as Lee Martin was concerned. Now, has that rattled the Brit? He's in second at the moment, and that still wouldn't be... A... Oh, and of course, the leader, Ronnefeld, goes as well. So, the pole man is back in front. In second place is Neumann. And Ronnefeld has recovered. So, this has been a very different start to this second of three finals. A little mistake there by your Neumann in second place, but he's held on to the position. But now, will we see Lee Martin settle into his rhythm and drive away from the field. He demolished them. Five seconds, the gap between himself and the field last time around. Although I would say that there was a gaggle of cars, sometimes four or five cars battling for second place. And I do rather think they slowed themselves down, not taking anything away from the pole man, who's just made another mistake there. And you can see from Neumann applying the throttle. Oh, then off goes the leader. And once again, the Brit, two mistakes in the opening laps. And that has really pushed him back down the field. Now, this has thrown the finals wide open now. He's recovered, I think, into third or fourth position. As now that's Neumann ahead of Runnefeld. Oh, and he completely misjudged the completely misjudged the whoops, and the marshal didn't get him turned over. So in fact, he's dropped down to fifth position at that point. Now, here is the battle for the lead and that's Ronnefalk isn't it in the lead yes it is Ronnefalk's gone by while we were watching the replay Ronnefalk has gone by Neumann now Ronnefalk was well down in the first heat had a bit of a nightmare really finished uh, from memory in eighth position so Neumann will want to dispose of him and get up the field Neumann fourth last time around and he's having a little go now looks to the inside but can't get it done and these two have got to be a bit careful, keep an eye on what's going on. Beautifully flown over the big jump on the back of the circuit there. Furthest away from where the guys are driving. Very easy to lose concentration. Remember that all of the pilots are away from their machines and looking across the track. Very easy, and I still don't know how they do this, that they are racing as close as that, and there was a little touch there between the two leaders, whilst other vehicles are going in front of them. And how it doesn't affect the concentration, I really don't know, but that's why I'm standing talking about it, and these guys are competing in the European Championship final. So, Ronne Falk then, Neumann having, really, he's applying the pressure all the way around now, and the concentration level's super high, and there's no one else in it at the moment. The battle for third position, I think that is, yep, that is, Oh, and off goes one of the leaders. That's Ronnefalk. Ronnefalk's gone at the final corner. 
And I think that was Lee Martin, wasn't it, who was coming through in third. He may have nicked into second. As, in fact, no, look, he's still in third, but he has made up a lot of ground. Good work by the marshals there. So let's just take stock for the moment. The leader on the Durango. It's the Kyosho in second position. And Lee Martin on the Tamiya in third position. You can see there just how this hard-baked circuit has really been pummeling the suspension. Lee Martin going offline there, trying to find a better run as the lead battle is coming close at the gain. And did Neumann make a mistake? Or is it just that Ronenfalk has picked up the pace a little bit? I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. And now we've got side-by-side -side action between these two. Concentration level's really at the absolute at the moment. You just feel, don't you, as though Ron and Falk might have a little go any second now. And you've got to think that the leader, Neumann, is beginning to look behind him. And that's very dangerous indeed. You've just got to keep your eyes on your own vehicle. Get the turn in right, hit your marks. Get back on the throttle as quickly as possible. These two-wheel drive machines do slide sideways. We've seen them committing into the corners. This is great stuff from the leading two. And if anything, Lee Martin has dropped back a little bit as we start the last lap. So coming round now, you just feel at any second now, Ron and Falk is going to have a wee bit of a go. Oh, and he's gone through. Mistake by the leader. Your Neumann will be kicking himself. And look at that. He gets back on the stick straight away. It's a fantastic recovery. Now, can he chase down in this last, what, half a lap now and regain what he's just given up? He'll be seething. Absolutely seething. He's almost there, isn't he? This is a fantastic comeback. He's going to have a go. He does. He goes through and he's taking it. He's taking it back. What a fantastic last lap. But we're... Oh, hang on a second. It's not all over because... He did go off the track there, I think. Let's have another look at that. He comes into the final corner. Yes, he's off the track. Mm, now, let's have another look from this angle. This is how the judges of fact will have seen it. He gets up the inside there. It's not the contact that's a problem. It's the going off the track. And we're hearing now that that result has been reversed. Incorrect overtaking in the last corner. The opinion of the judges and our Proline results caption tells you that David Ronenfalk has been given the victory after a three-tenths of a second penalty has been applied to Jorn Neumann, who sits back in second. Lee Martin in third, Darren Bloomfield in fourth, and Peter Pinnish in fifth. Well, two finals down and we have two winners. Be sure to stay tuned to see who wins the third and deciding a final. Welcome back. Coming up, the deciding leg of the two-wheel drive European Championship A final. But first, let's look at a two-wheel drive stadium truck. You can run just about anywhere.
once again. Lee Martin has to win this to win the championship. He may not need to win it, but that is the best way for him to think at the moment. There's all kinds of arithmetical work that needs to be done, but basically... There's three or four people who could still take this championship. Ron and Falk, of course, with a race victory behind him. Neil Cragg not out of it either, to be fair, but he would need some help from the two drivers at the head of the field at the moment if he was to win it. And by help, I mean for them to have uh, rather disastrous heats. But he has got a second place to his name. The two ahead of him have got first. We'll work that out when we get to the end of it. Let's concentrate on what's going on. And at the start of this race, it's been a copy boot start by the Brits man who's been on pole position for all three of these finals. Nice to see it going to the third. Nice to see it going to the third heat uh, of this final. As Lee Martin pulls away, defending champion. And he has really, when he's been on it, been absolutely superb. Slightly off his game in the second heat of the final. Made a couple of uncharacteristic mistakes. In the early part, he's got to keep that concentration going all the way through, and he has not! As he spins it over, my goodness me, he's going to come and kick me in the shins afterwards. That was truly the curse of the commentator. And through then goes Ronnefalk into the lead and into a potential championship winning position. And he's just dropped it as well through the whoops. A little bit conservative, maybe. You've got to get the height and try and double those little whoops. And look at that. The leader popping a wheelie. That is how much pressure he's under. Fantastic grip from the rear of that buggy. Through into third at the moment is Jorn Neumann coming up through the field again. He's done a great job as we got a change for the lead and changing back. This is fantastic stuff. These two guys are really at it in there. Oh, there's the little nudge in second place between Neumann and Ronnenfalk. These two battling it out, of course, for the lead in the second of the three potential finals. And that has given, has it not, just a little bit of a breathing space to this man. And Lee Martin then pulls out just a little bit. He'll be delighted to see this battle behind him, although he won't be looking too hard at it. He's concentrating on getting round and clicking off the laps, getting the lap time nice and consistent. As Ronan Falk and Neumann continue to battle in this side by side again. And Neumann goes through into second place. That's not in the script either, is it? And again, we see the fabulous grip on the far side of the circuit. And there's another mistake. And that looks like Neil Cragg. Neil Cragg has fought his way up from six. He must be cursing himself, really, that he didn't have a better qualifying session. Started in sixth position, and you've got to say from his pace on the two heats so far, if he could have found another couple of tenths, that's all we're looking for, then he would have been right up the front, second place to his name. He's not out of it, but he does need these drivers ahead to make mistakes. Heading over the far side of the circuit. That's the battle for second. Neil Cragg sitting in fourth position at the moment. Meantime, Lee Martin is out ahead of the floor. Oh, there, I'm afraid, goes Neumann. He's over, and that is over and out for Neumann because that is his championship chances. Any slight chance he had has gone there. He's dropped way down the field. That now leaves the top three, really, with the only people with the chance for this championship and at the moment the man with the best chance clearly is the leader Lee Martin and that is the gap and it's a considerable one he's benefited again from the scrap that was going on behind him this not a carbon copy of the first heat but certainly has echoes of it second place Ronan Falk knows now that what he's got to do is catch and pass the defending European champion and that, well, catching him will be difficult enough with the kind of lead that Lee Martin has got. And Lee is such a good driver, just such a thinking driver. You don't become multiple champion without being able to think on your feet. He will be just judging the gap now to the guys behind and trying not too hard to catch the guys in front. If you get the drift, he doesn't want to be getting caught up with lap traffic. And he's just eased his pace a little bit on the last couple of tours. Last year, one in France, two years ago here in Austria, the championship 
was his and he looks to be making this a hat trick of European Championships in fairness he qualified on Paul he looked good in the qualifying he's dealt with the conditions and he takes the checkered flag and with two wins to his name he will become a European champion and the pro line results show another big margin of victory for Lee Martin four and a half seconds over David Ron and Falcon second and Neil Cragg in third and that means We've crowned Lee Martin once again as European champion ahead of David Ronnenfeld in second, the best of the young drivers. Neil Cragg comes up to third from his grid position of sixth. If only he could qualify better. Jan Neumann and Peter Pinnish for the top five. Three very interesting A finals, certainly. Um, the first one, um, slightly different from David on the first lap. You had a quite a clear lead, a fairly easy win for you in that first leg. Yeah, the first one was good. Everyone said it was boring, but I really like them boring ones. So as long as I'm at the front of it. Yeah. And then that second leg, just talk us about the mistake on going through the first few laps. Yeah, I mean, straight away the wind was really high and then we went over the jump. My car went sideways, so I had to kind of slow down and save it. I was back to third and then tried to push a little bit to catch, made a mistake and the marshal marshaled it, but put me straight back on my roof. So lost like double the amount of time I needed to eventually got back to third so I mean it wasn't ideal but you know, I salvaged a half decent result out of that one. Well, I guess third place in a European A final is a pretty decent result still and then that that last A final what was the pressure like? Yeah I mean I got away at the start and at the start you kind of as long as you do the first lap you get your head down you can do some laps and you're right and then they started coming back at me so you get a little bit nervous and then um, just a little bit just a a little bit, you can't let it get too bad. And then, you know, the last few laps you have slight nerves, but luckily I had a bit of a gap, so I could drive a little slower. But yeah, you get nervous, more or less, as soon as you finish, you kind of break down a little bit. But. <laughs> it was pretty cool because uh, two weeks ago I, I became uh, the national champion in Sweden. So I have a uh, good confidence to go here and uh, make some wrestles. Well, it was uh, three fantastic A finals. Uh, talk to in particular that second A final, your battle with, with your Neumann. Yeah, it was awesome. I think, I mean, he, he like cut the track uh, just a little bit, but I couldn't say anything if they placed him like first. So, uh, but I was lucky then. But uh, overall, I, I'm so happy. That's all we have this month, but don't forget, any time, any moment, any minute, our entire archive is available to view on www.rcracing.tv. See you next month.